The kids have to be aware, everybody's aware, what happens if they do get the allergic response and they're not in a physician's office? What, do, what does the child have to carry around with them? What does the school have to have prepared? How do we treat this? So I teach my patients they should always have a food allergy action plan. So that's actually written instructions on if someone has this symptom, you give them this. If someone has this symptom, you give them this, you call 911 and what they're allergic to. Then they need to have an antihistamine and then they need to have an injectable epinephrine. Injectable epinephrine is the medication. It is a shot, it goes in the leg, um, but it is a life-saving uh, medication that actually stops the allergic reaction. So at school, which is the place that most kids are at besides home, uh, the school nurse uh, should have those three things in the nurse's office, uh, and the teacher should be aware of the allergies in the classroom. Every school's a little bit different, every school district's a little bit different, um, but one thing that um, we are doing in the United States, there's several states now, including California, uh, that has a law where we can have uh, what we call generic injectable epinephrine in the nurse's office, which means if a child with an unknown food allergy has a sudden reaction at school, they can, they can actually go ahead and use it and treat the child, and save their life. That's important. It's absolutely important. So uh, w dealing with children, this question always comes up. Parents who think they did something wrong to create this during right. the pregnancy or somehow uh, they used the wrong formula. Are food allergies because parents have done something wrong? No, we can't say that. We have no idea, unfortunately, exactly why kids are getting food allergy. I get that question all the time. There are just as many studies that show that women who ate a lot of peanuts during pregnancy seem to increase the risk of food allergy, and there's just as many show that it seems to decrease the risk of food allergy. So we don't have any good recommendations right now for pregnancy, and what we say is in moderation. Everything in moderation. Um, and then <clears throat> if your child does start to show signs of allergy, for example, eczema, um, eczema is an allergic disease, and sometimes we see that before the food allergy comes. If your child or infant or baby has any of those signs that you do want to talk to your pediatrician about it, we may give some different advice about how you're introducing foods to that child.